Hello Virgo, welcome back and thank you for joining me. This is going to be your intimate extended reading for Sagittarius season. So of course it can't be for everyone watching. If it is your story though, I'd love for you to comment below and if not, feel free to check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. And as always, remember time, energy, and gender are fluid. So reverse roles, however they apply to your story. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so you can catch future your readings. So of course, thank you to my lovely subscribers. I love you guys and I appreciate all of your support of this channel. If you are new altogether, I'd love to have you. So be sure to check the description box below when you subscribe. That way you can also connect with me on social media. All of my links and things you'll need to connect with me are down below. So uh, of course, if you haven't already seen my community tab, I'm offering some great discounts this holiday season, including 50% off on all private readings, 20% off on my entire website, and free shipping to all orders over $50. So if you're choosing to support my small business when you're shopping for your loved ones this holiday season, I truly thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me um, that you guys would support me in that way. So anyways, before we get started, obviously this isn't an intimate extended reading. So it's supposed to be for you about your person. However, it can resonate in many different ways. So it can be about you, about your person, about the crotch washer, whoever it is, just don't uh, force the reading to fit. Okay. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. So, um, as we move into your reading, of course, if you haven't already guessed, this is going to be for the ages of 18 and up only as some of the images in the tarot of sexual magic can be quite risque. So of course we don't want a childhood trauma stemming from a tarot reading. If that is you, please click off and have a blessed day in the Lord. And we will catch you on the flippity flip for another reading. Okay. So if you are not under age and you're here for the saucy sauce, then let's get right into it. This is going to be, um, like I said, a general intimate extended reading, um, resonating with most of you probably about your love situation. But like I said, it doesn't have to. So definitely love to hear from you guys in the comments. I'll be starting with the Queen of the Moon Oracle as I like to do for these intimate readings. And speaking of intimate readings, if that is your jam and you like connecting on that more, um, <laughs> on that more scandalous level, then you should feel free to join me in the members only area, which is down below as well. You can find that link there or at the homepage of my channel. So anyways, Virgo, what do we have for you guys for Sagittarius season as we move through the holidays? I know I'm a little late on these readings, but y'all, I've been exhausted. I've been dealing with so much recently and um, <clears throat> just got a lot going on around the holiday season. So apologize for my tardiness, but hopefully this one is a good one. So what do we have for Virgos this holiday season? Interesting. So we have, <laughs> we have an actual sentence here. Trust the path. Okay. So Virgo. As you can see, we've got this person here protecting themselves, kind of holding away inside of a little bubble. Uh, but to me, this kind of reminds me of someone who grows in the darkness, right? So we've got this beautiful little duck here sitting on top of her nest waiting for her egg to grow. So that could be kind of metaphorical for you. Maybe you've been um, building up some sort of a nest egg. Maybe you've been uh, waiting for something for a long time, thinking of like, you know, a pregnancy metaphorically. Um, waiting for something and hoping that it will grow, trusting that this is all a part of the path that you're supposed to be on. So maybe you've been waiting a long time to release something or to birth something, um, <clears throat> bring something into your reality, whatever this is for you. Spirit's telling you to trust the path that you're on and know that this is all a part of the process, okay? Uh, sometimes the path might look kind of dark. As you can see, we've got all of these dark mountains and things which kind of remind me of obstacles but as you can see there's a clear pathway to this bright new future so Virgo whatever you've been sitting on whatever you have been building or working on behind the scenes um, spirit wants to know that it's time for you to trust and have faith okay uh, so yeah this is 
also probably going to be very significant for those of you who have resonated with the energies of the eclipses. Uh, as you can kind of see, this is also a portal. We're moving into the 1212, 1221 portals, and we just experienced the 1111 portal. So as most of you know, eclipses, especially solar eclipses, are all about new beginnings and birthing something new. So that was the most recent eclipse that we had. Uh, a lot of upgrades and light codes are being downloaded right now in the collective. So I think Spirit's telling you, like, pretty soon you're going to see your opening here. Even if it seems like an uphill climb, there's going to be a chance for you to finally step into that new reality you've been, you've been dreaming of, okay? So Virgo, obviously this can also resonate with the energy of your person. So keep in mind, whoever is searching for this path or waiting for this opening, um, again, you will know based on your individual story. So let's see what is going on with the Tarot of Sexual Magic and see what this person is currently thinking about you, Virgo. Uh, and again, this can all be reversed. Just take it however it fits. So... Virgo, this person is thinking of you as their happy ending, okay? Plain and simple. Uh, and like I said, this person could be waiting for the opening or the pathway that leads to you. They could be hoping for... Hoping. They could be hoping... <laughs> hoping for an opening. Uh, they could be hoping that you will reunite with them. Okay. This is complete emotional fulfillment. And as you can see, we have this female offering this male with their back turned, uh, what looks to be like, <laughs> y'all, this looks to be like some sort of, okay, it's a fig. Okay. So she's got a whole basket full of figs. I was going to say it looks kind of like a cupcake, but he's got his back turned, okay? So obviously this person could also be thinking that even though they want to reunite with you and even though you are their happy ending, that you could potentially not be feeling the same way, okay? So I, I kind of get the feeling that this person has made you an offer, is hoping that you will reunite with them, hoping for an opening, and uh, hoping that you'll accept their love, right? This is true love. This is reunion, all right? So this person is hoping for it and thinking about you in that energy. So, you know, also Virgo, they could be thinking that you're already in a happy connection uh, with someone else, which could be why the energy here of this man's back turn can be very significant for some of you, okay? So let's talk about how this person is feeling about this, about you, about this connection with you. What is this person feeling for you, Virgo? So two of wands in the reverse. Yeah, kind of like what I said. Um, first of all, not only do these two individuals look like they're having some sort of a secret meeting, you can see she's got her foot under the table extended to him. So Virgo, again, I kind of feel like this person really wants to make things work with you. And this man's hands up towards her. It's kind of almost like he's explaining something to her and she's just kind of looking past that anyway, right? As you can see too, we have this flame. They're sharing a meal. So there's definitely chemistry here between you and this person, Virgo. But I kind of feel as if they are feeling the need to go in a new direction, okay? This is someone who is choosing a path one over the other. So maybe recently your person has chosen to extend this passionate um, energy towards you or uh, make it clear that you are the person that they're wanting to have this connection with. And again, Virgo, I think they're just wondering how you feel about that because again, this is planning for the future. This isn't exactly two people saying, okay, we choose one another. This isn't the two of cups. So in this person's feelings, they have a lot of passion for you and they've already chosen you, Virgo. But again, I think that this could be a little bit of a one-sided type of an energy or at least they are feeling that way, okay? And also too, with this woman's leg extended under the table, it's almost like an invitation, okay? This person is extending their passion, their, their invite to you to come with them on this journey. And Virgo, are you going to though? Because um, again, if they're looking at you in this energy of their true love, their their emotional fulfillment, someone they could have a family with, and they're telling you and they're feeling this energy. They feel like the two of you are a match. So how are they viewing you in the 3D? Okay, what is it that they're seeing you doing in the 3D? How are they interpreting or uh, perceiving you 
yeah so look at this virgo we have the eight of pentacles again more of this energy of this individual reaching out to another she doesn't look very interested she's just sipping her tea her legs are crossed so virgo you might have kind of cut this person off or you might have made it clear that you were very like dedicated to your work um <clears throat> even another connection okay so you could have kind of shown this person that you Again, you were very dedicated and focused on what you're currently doing. This could be you really wrapped up in your career or very concerned with your own financial stability, but they're seeing you as very closed and cut off and focused on your current uh, endeavors, okay? And, you know, again, there's more of that energy of like someone offering, 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 inviting, and, and someone who's very passionate, right? But like I said, they're seeing you as maybe playing hard to get, not acting interested, and just focusing on uh, what you need to do, right? Whatever that might be. So what is this person's intended actions towards you? I should say, what are these person's intended actions? Another eight. So this could involve a sort of a karmic cycle for you. Um, whether you have feelings for this person or not, Virgo, this eight of cups energy is what they're going to be doing. Okay. They're, they're starting to pull their energy back. So I kind of feel this is like a past energy for you. This person could have really been focused on coming together with you, on being with you, on making this work. And you've done nothing but like turn your back or show this person you're not interested. And so I kind of feel this energy of your person saying, okay, well, you know what? This isn't fulfilling for me and this isn't working out for me because I'm being real with you. I'm offering my love. I'm offering my energy and you're just kind of dancing through life like la-di-da, okay? I don't think this person feels like you're matching their energy and the eight of cups is someone walking away. So I think this person, whoever they are, is really looking towards the future and hoping to find spiritual union and a real true connection with someone who values them, who respects them. So Virgo, whether or not you have feelings for this person or not, like this person is planning on walking away from whatever this is. Now, for some of you, this person could be walking away from another connection to be with you. But based on what I'm seeing here, it kind of feels like this person is getting the vibe that you don't want to be with them. So they're walking away now. Okay. Maybe they have had a lot of trust and faith in this journey with you, Virgo, but things just continue to keep going on the same path and nothing is looking up for them. It's no longer a promising situation. And even though they have made the decision to be with you, they've made the decision to share this passionate new life with you. Um, you know, like I said, this, this closed off energy of, um, I'm hearing like financial matters above all else. Like it's all about the money right now. And this person is not having that. They're like, you know what? I don't give a fuck about money. I just want to have a true, stable, real connection with someone who is, you know, who I feel like I can connect with on a soul level. They're not getting that. So they're moving on, Virgo. This person seems like they're going to be moving on from you, which is, I mean, good, especially if you aren't interested in this person. And if you are interested in this person, then like I said, you're not sending those signals to them at all because they're not feeling it. All right. So Virgo, what is this person's true desire? True desire. And now that I'm looking at the path um, once more, since we're talking about your person, uh, I kind of feel like this person has kind of been going through all of this dark energy while waiting on you. And now God, universe, whatever you believe in is opening up a pathway to this person and saying, you know what, you've been at this for a long time and we know, we understand. And you know, look at this woman too. She's like all crouched up. She looks really sad. Even this little duck over here is like, are you all right, bitch? Um, <clears throat> so obviously there's been some issues here, maybe some trust issues. Okay. And this person is saying, you know what, Jesus, I'm about to walk through this new path and find a new, um, life for myself, something that looks brighter and better as opposed to everything I've been going through, trying to get this damn Virgo to notice me or be with me. Right. So Virgos, we know that you are slow moving. We know that you're very, um, no offense, but you're kind of obstinate sometimes when it comes to, 
matters of the heart. And it's not because you don't feel those things. Like I said, if you have feelings for this person, which you might, you're just not showing it and you're not letting on. You're like head to the ground, like truly focused like this woman over here with her tea. She's like, I ain't got time for this shit. I'm building a future. And this person's like, but I love you. And you're like, nah, <laughs> I'm drinking my tea and I'm looking over this way. I'm not interested in what you have to offer. That's the vibe here. So with the moon popping up as their true desires, like all this person really wants to do, and this could be a divine feminine energy. All this person really wants is the true, the truth. Okay. This person wants the truth. They want the truth of your emotions. They want to know what you've been hiding, Virgo. They want to know what secrets you've been keeping. And they just want to know what's under the surface with you. Okay. And with all of this energy of eclipses and the moon and all of these things that have been going on recently, <clears throat> maybe that's exactly what they're hoping for, right? Hoping that the situation you're in or this cold attitude that you have towards them will change and things will finally be brought to light. Okay. Um, Interesting. So what's going on behind the scenes for this person, Virgo? Something you don't know about what's going on with this person. And you know what I just heard? It's blocking season, y'all. So don't be surprised if this person blocks you or cuts your energy off um, around the holidays, especially, like I said, if you're not reciprocating or you're not giving that energy back to them or you're acting cold or cut off, that's not what this person's looking for, Virgo. They're looking for love. They're looking for true connection, okay? Uh, and again, this could be you too, all right? If you're in a connection with someone, Virgo, and you are in this situation where like, oh yes, it's supposed to be a happy ending. It's supposed to be really great but then this person's acting like uh maybe they could even be doing some stuff under the table with someone else and you're now finding out about it which could mean like you're you're cutting this person off okay so again take this however it resonates with you um i feel really strongly the first storyline especially against this is about your person but you know what i'm trying to say so virgo <sighs> behind the scenes we have the five of pentacles so this person could really be struggling, okay? Maybe they don't want to let you know that, but this person feels left out in the cold by you. Um, they feel maybe even like they're struggling financially. I mean, we are approaching the holidays. This could be uh, someone who is just trying to make ends meet, okay? Um, trying to make the magic happen for their kids, whatever this might be. Uh, I know exactly that feeling, like being a single mom out here in these crazy ass streets, trying to make all of the magic happen um, and make sure that your kids have everything they want and need, even sacrificing the things that you need. Um, can put you in that place, okay? And this could also just be about them feeling lost without you, empty without you, whatever it might be, okay? These two lovers, again, this like secret meeting. Um, and I love how there's a violin here, you know? Like, and I'm thinking of like the teeny tiny violin. So, you know, maybe this person could also be having a little bit of a pity party for themselves. And you know what? Rightfully so, especially if they've put all this energy and action and movement and love into connecting with you and they feel as if you've gone cold on them, Virgo. So this person feels left out in the cold that you put them there and they want to just embrace you. They want to be with you, okay? They really want to come out of that energy and experience this romantic connection connection, experience this love. And on some level, again, like I said, this moon here for their true desires, it's like this person knows that deep down you also feel the same way, right? Otherwise there wouldn't be these, these meetings here. Okay. So let's talk about something that's challenging this person right now. <clears throat> what is the main challenge for this person? Oh my goodness. So yeah, what did I say, Virgo? It's blocking season, right? So we have the page of swords in the reverse. So maybe this person has been keeping an eye on you in the past. They're no longer doing that, okay? This person is done sitting back in the shadows, admiring you from afar. You know, we got this guy looking at her ass and she's like, hmm, I have no idea what's going on. And you know what, Virgo? Maybe you've played that role of oblivious, trying to act like you don't know what's going on between you and this person. But I have a feeling that you did and you always did. Okay. And this person is kind of fed up with it, right? They're starting to say to themselves, you know what? Why the fuck am I going to put my energy into this person and watch and wait for this person and hope for the best for them when where the fuck are they in my life, right? I don't see them around. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them off for my highest good. Okay. They're not stalking you anymore, Virgo. They're not looking for you. Um, and they're not interested in seeing what you're doing. Okay. So damn, this reading is kind of a, <laughs> a roast. 
Uh, it kind of always seems like that, Virgo, and I do apologize. I'm just reading the energy of the cunts. So bottom of the deck is the nine of pentacles. This person has been single, right? They're working on their own stability and kind of feel like this person is in pre-empress mode, right? They don't really need to prove anything to anyone. They're just focused on their own independence and stability. You know what? This person, as you can see too, we have this guy like cutting off a locket of her hair, which could be kind of creepy, but also symbolic. Like maybe this person has decided to cut off a previous partner or cut off previous energies because they didn't want to sacrifice their own like autonomy. Uh, this person could have been, like I said, single for a really long time and, but not single in a way where they feel like, oh, woe is me single in a way where they're like, okay, like I'm confident and secure in myself. Okay. So this person <clears throat> could also be hoping that you will be single or you will cut off someone. Okay. So Virgo, oh, blessed day. Let's see what is going on with the clarity of this reading. We're going to use the Wild Unknown Tarot and see a little bit more about this person's thoughts. Why are they thinking this way? Why does this person see you as their happy ending? Okay, so I'm just going to say this right now. Eight of Swords in Reverse is the energy of someone not allowing their mind or their ego to control them or keep them in a prison, right? We have this butterfly that's transforming. I think maybe this person has been stuck on a little bit of, um, on a loop in their mind of faith and trust. Okay. Like we saw here, I think this person has been the complete opposite of this energy, right? Not allowing uh, their mind to fuck with them, not allowing the things that are going on to deter them from what they know to be true. So maybe this person had the impression that you and them were it, right? You and this person, you were going to be together and there was nothing that can change their mind. Now, the eight is also coming after that seven of swords energy. So for some of you, this could be your person like allowing some shady behavior to continue, or uh, this could have been like a third party situation where you met this person and it seemed like it was too good to be true and everything was perfect, except for the fact that you were with someone else, Virgo. And so now this person is... Um, is deciding like, okay, I don't care what's going on with that other person. Like I already know that this person is for me. So this could also be a little bit of a delusional energy, uh, but not in a bad way, right? I think this person just really wants to see this transformation happen between you and them based on some uh, confusing energy or energy that may not have been so set in stone. Okay. That is what I'm hearing. And that's why we have this energy of someone reaching out, offering this fig and their back is turned. Okay. It's like whoever you are, Virgo, hopefully you're not the type that's going to like kiss and run or uh, make someone feel as if they have a chance with you only to turn your back on them. Okay. Cause that's kind of shitty. All right. So hopefully that's not you. Um, Virgos, y'all are going to unsubscribe after this reading. <laughs> So let's clarify for their feelings. We have the three of cups. So again, more of this third party energy, uh, more of this like wanting to kind of reunite with someone, reconcile with someone. And that is what they're feeling. Okay. They're feeling like that's what's going to happen between the two of you. That's what they've wanted. They've just wanted to come together with you. Uh, as you can see, we have two birds looking at the one bird. So they could have felt very isolated in this situation, which could have caused more and more of that trust and faith to ramp up and build. Meanwhile, this person was just setting themselves up for a long and dark road, Virgo. And if you are with someone else and like I said, you entertain this person, then um, they're seeing that now. Okay. They're seeing the truth of that, that you're always going to be dedicated to your money or dedicated to this other person that you're with. Um, so let's clarify how they're viewing you in the 3D. Yeah, the Page of Cups. So actually, you know what? This is the Knight of Cups. My bad. So again, this person could have come forward with an emotional offer or they could have viewed you as this person who um, truly cared about them and uh, wanted to like share a life with them, right? Because the Knight of Cups is someone who comes forward and offers their emotions and is real and raw, but then they run away, okay? They're fickle. It's like, again, this is like Virgo. They see you as someone that offered their love to them and then fucking took it back, okay? Or walked away from them. Because, you know, even though we have this beautiful cup shining with all this rainbow energy, again, reminding me of the Ten of Cups, it's like you presented yourself as this person that 
that was everything this person could have wanted and dreamed of. And then you were like, you know what though? I'm going to go swim away back to the other duck that I've been fucking or being with. You know what I mean? That's kind of what I'm seeing here. And this person is, is like I said, now kind of closed off and they're saying, you know what? I'm done with that. I'm not going to spend my time dancing through life with someone who um, only wants to connect with me when it's convenient for them and then turn their back on me and walk back to their other connection. Okay. That's not how we do people Virgo. So for a lot of Virgo, I'm hoping that this reading is in reverse. Okay. I'm hoping that you're the damsel in distress here, but unfortunately it cannot always be like that. Right. And <clears throat> Virgos being overthinkers and um, overanalyzed you know, unfortunately, sometimes you get yourselves into these type of situations, okay? You put one foot in and then you doubt yourself and you walk back out and you go back to what's comfortable. And, you know, it's not necessarily a problem until there's other people's feelings involved, okay? So just remember that when you're putting your uh, energy out there with others that, um, you know, you don't want to string people along or give people the impression that you're emotionally available when you're actually not. Okay. So let's talk more about this person's intended actions following the eight of cups. So yeah, we have the judgment card in the reverse. So spirits really been up their ass about this and trying to show them like, Hey, you're choosing the wrong person because this person isn't actually choosing you. And now they're starting to see the light. Okay. This person is understanding like, you know what? God, the universe brought me through this because it was a lesson I needed to learn. And maybe I held on to it for way too long. And maybe I made the wrong decision. But all in all, you can never make the wrong decision. Okay. Sometimes we make decisions based on our best intentions, but it doesn't always turn out the way that we want it to. Right. And you have to understand if you're the person watching and you're saying to yourself, damn, I really made a wrong decision about this person, then understand and trust that sometimes we have to go down certain paths to learn things about ourselves before we can truly even be capable of making decisions. Okay. So whoever this person is, you are this person, they're walking away from whatever's not working for them, whatever's not emotionally fulfilling, whatever's not authentic, genuine, real. Um, and they're, they're just saying, you know what, if it's not reciprocity, if it's not true soul love, then I don't fucking want it. Okay. And so this person is kind of going through a bit of an awakening and realizing like I've maybe stayed around too long in a situation, uh, that never was meant for me or that, <clears throat> you know, not that it never was meant for you, but that wasn't going to work out. That wasn't destined to actually work out. Okay. Because think about it, y'all. The one, the true one isn't going to leave you hanging like that. The true one isn't going to come in offering their emotions and make it seem like they're available to you and then turn their back on you and act like you are nothing, like you didn't exist. And look at that. We have the candle that just blew out. So that message was for somebody. So let's talk about the moon and their truest and deepest desires two of pentacles. Yeah, this person's making some major changes and it might not be very comfortable for them. But this is all about gaining balance within themselves. Again, more of this transformation energy with the butterfly. All right. Whoever this person is, they've been waiting. They've been in the last phase of their transformation. This could be them having a spiritual awakening because of you, Virgo, but then realizing like they're never going to get to spread their wings in this connection with you. They're only going to get to do that once they walk away from you. Okay. Uh, they could also be juggling a lot. Okay. Like I said, with this five of pentacles over here, uh, in there behind the scenes or what's going on that we don't know. And this could be them saying, you know what, if I'm going to really truly be happy, I need to make some major changes in my life. And they might, they might be really, um, shitty or might keep me in some sort of a financial distress or whatever the case may be, but they're going to do it. Okay. They're going to do that. Let's clarify the five of pentacles. And I just saw the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So we did have that energy pop up on the bottom. Let's clarify for the five of pentacles though. Yeah. <laughs> Ten of swords. An ending. Brutal. A brutal and savage ass ending, Virgo. This person is cutting this whole thing off. Okay, they feel betrayed. More of this left out in the cold energy. They feel utterly betrayed and they're just done, right? It's like the worst is over for this person because they finally reached that point of rock bottom where they're like, there's really nothing that's going to come of this. Like 
It's like they had to finally accept the betrayal and swallow it once and for all. And it was probably really painful for them. So let's see about this page of swords in reverse as they're, yeah, and look at that. And because they're going to no longer... <laughs> Keep an eye on you, Virgo, because they're no longer concerned with what you're doing. They're not stalking you anymore, keeping tabs. This is actually going to bring in a happy ending for them regardless, okay? So whether or not you have feelings for this person, whether or not this Ten of Cups is actually you coming in to tell this person, hey, like, just kidding, I don't want to be with this person, I actually want to be with you, which I honestly doubt considering this person's probably not a dummy, okay? If you've given these person this person these mixed messages and they're finally coming to these conclusions, I have a feeling this person is walking away from all of this bullshit with you, Virgo, and they're going to go find their happy ending elsewhere, okay? So... Harsh, Virgo. This reading was so harsh. Okay, so bottom of the deck, the high priestess. Yeah, this person is a divine feminine, okay? So this person is a divine feminine who is could have been, like I said, ignoring their higher self at the beginning, hoping that this would work out, thinking they've found their one, but they realize that, you know what? I'm, I'm a baddie. I'm a spiritual baddie. I don't need to take any of this shit. I'm a divine feminine, and I've been through many spiritual awakenings, okay? This is a very powerful energy. So your person has been keeping their secrets, keeping to themselves, um, taking care of themselves and awakening to, um, to the esoteric knowledge and wisdom that was always within them, okay? So, um, yeah, Virgo, I'm so sorry to say it, but if you're the person that is being walked away from, this person is a gem, okay? They're a gem, they're a charm, they're someone that, um, like I said, very spiritual, very connected to the divine, um, and you know what, Virgo, this person never needed you, okay? I'm just going to say it, they never needed you, they just wanted you, okay? And they were under the impression that you were everything to them, but now they see the truth, okay? So let's get some under the Lenormand uh, cards and see what Spirit has to say in regards to the situation. Do I even want to post this reading? I don't know. We shall see. So we have the stars in the reverse, okay? So this person, Six of Cups, Energy, They've been very in their feelings, okay? They've been very nostalgic about the past with you. Uh, they feel as if they're connected with you on a soul level. But with the stars in reverse, I feel like everything they've been wishing for has just not come into fruition, okay? But at the same time, you know, we always say every rejection is a redirection. So Virgo, if you rejected this person and you were their one wish, um, you know, again, it's probably because they felt this soul tie for you that they kept holding on for so long, okay? Now with the locket, um, again, Knight of Cups energy, there's this, this element of like holding someone close to their heart, um, feeling like, you know, you could have even been this person's heart in general, okay, Virgo? And Honestly, you know, you could have made them really happy. You could have had really happy times with this person or again, shared that emotional energy with them, which has kept you kind of um, locked up and close to their chest. Now, obviously, once the locket is open and the picture inside is exposed, I think this person is starting to understand that like, this was more a concept or a wish or a dream that they had of what you could be and the potential of what the two of you could have versus what it actually is, okay? And so again, Virgo, what, whatever the reason is that you shared your emotional energy with this person and then walked away from them, it really left this person fucking scarred, okay? Um, <clears throat> and then we have the journal, Ten of Pentacles energy. So, and I'm seeing like the word story here, study and it says discoveries. It looked like it said ovaries, but it's discoveries. Just kidding. So this woman is writing in a journal. This person could have scripted a lot about you, Virgo. Um, been really trying to manifest this connection. Ten of Pentacles is working on stability, legacy, ancestry. It's like this person really was trying to have it all with you, okay? The everything ship. So let's see what else we have from this deck and uh, what spirit wants us to know about this person, Virgo. 
Okay, so we have the Two of Wands energy again, the Crossroads, Queen of Pentacles. So you could also be dealing with a... Um, with an, with an earth sign. Okay. This person could be an earth sign or this could be like your energy as well. But obviously this person had a choice to make and they understood that like by going down one path, the path, okay. By being open to a new path, they would be leaving something behind. So this person based on the energy that was shared with you had to make a final decision and, and finally decide to say, you know what? I'm going to provide stability for myself. I'm going to be dedicated to my own path, my own abundance, and leave behind whatever this was, okay? One more card from this deck, the whip. So, and this is the Knight of Pentacles energy, suffering, conflict, purging, abuse. So maybe you had this person kind of whipped, Virgo. Maybe this person did whatever it was that you wanted because they felt this energy with you and they just kind of let you um, take advantage of them, okay? And again, if this all is reversed, Virgo, you could be the one in a situation where you felt whipped or or like there was nothing you could do to escape or get away from this connection where this other person was not showing interest, okay? So again, take it however it resonates. We also have the number 11 here, which um, makes me think of like twin flame soul connection. So again, these type of things can be very complicated. They're not like cut and dry. There really are so many gray areas to these type of, of connections. So definitely interested to see how it resonates with you. If it is resonating, don't forget to hit the like button and comment below and yeah look at that y'all underneath the deck we have the divine feminine peeking her head okay so a lot of this divine feminine energy coming from your person the ace of wands okay very passionate energy someone who follows their soul purpose and path someone in that empress mode so Again, there's an issue here where there's a divine feminine who is very open and and wanting this love and this connection. And Virgo, I think that um, this person is finally starting to give up, okay? There's been some constraints and restrictions here in this connection. And they're just like, you know what? I'm going to focus on me because obviously there's nothing else I can do to, um, to make this happen. And I think they're starting to just, like I said, give up on their wish. They're like, yeah, you know, even though there was a really strong connection and I keep this person close to my heart, I need to do what's right for me, okay? So Virgo, let's see what the... <clears throat> Let's see what the lover's oracles have to say in regards to advice. Okay, this could also be messages from your person. Ooh, one's on the floor. What does this person want you to know? What does spirit want you to know regarding this connection? Anything else? Yeah, Spirit's really not giving me a lot of messages from this deck. I kind of feel like I said there's been a major cutting off and the first card on the floor. Only time will tell. Yeah, so Virgo, maybe that's how this person feels, right? Maybe they're like, you know what? They don't want to be with me. They want to choose this or that. Only time is going to tell and show this person and show Virgo, you know, what what they missed out on, right? What they're choosing, okay? Because remember, when you sign up for something, when you dedicate your life to someone, when you choose someone, like, you can't just unchoose that person. And that's why the Knight of Cups comes in. It's like a reminder to be careful about how you share your energy with others. Don't come off as this emotionally available person who wants to share a connection and then be like, mm, sorry, gotta go. Like, what kind of energy is that? We don't fucking do that to people, right? So let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So this person is basically saying, you know what? I love this person. I know that we're always going to share this connection regardless of whether or not Virgo wants to acknowledge it. Um, but I'm above the... I'm above the 3D complexities of what love is. And I know that, um, that I am love, right? And this person is saying like, I don't need to claim this person. I'm just simply going to be love and radiate that energy. And I know that the divine is going to bring me to my happy ending, to my highest good, whether or not it's with you, Virgo, or someone else. Okay. So um, let's just try to get one more card from this deck. It is important right now to take a step back 
and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. So spirit was really loud in this reading, Virgo. Um, again, you'll have to let me know how it resonates with you. So let's see what this person would like to say to you, Virgo. Okay, so some people don't want to see us together, but I don't care. So there could have been some issues um, with family or friends or whatever. There's people out there that just don't want this to happen, don't want to see it happen, and they didn't care, right? And again, we go back to that Eight of Swords and reverse energy, maybe a little bit of like um, an ignoring or like, I say the word delusional, but that's not really like a bad thing, okay? This person was like happy to be in this delusion with you because they loved you, okay? And they probably still do. Um, and I don't think they cared or ever gave a shit about what anybody thought. I think that this was deeper than that for this person. Um, we also have, you will, you will hear from me soon. So Virgo, maybe you've heard from this person or maybe you're about to hear from this person. Um, or again, if this person has decided to block you and you're like keeping tabs on this person, maybe that's exactly what you're going to hear. The silence. Okay. Um, I do talk about you. So, you know, this person is looking for some sort of, um, like comfort and, you know, maybe they're confiding in friends or just, you know, family members, whoever, just kind of talking about this situation, getting advice, getting guidance, um, <clears throat> the sexual thoughts that run through my mind. So Virgo, this could have started out as a sexual connection. Um, maybe there's like very intense chemistry between you and this person and they probably think about these type of encounters with you um, or want these type of encounters to happen with you. I've been astral projecting to you. So yeah, this person is very deeply spiritually connected to the divine um, and they have probably been trying to connect with you and astral project you in dreams um, and I'm protecting this connection. So uh, again, maybe there was a need for this person to kind of manifest you behind the scenes due to some external factors, people not wanting you to be together. Um, again, even if you are in a situation with someone else, this could have been a third party situation, as I mentioned earlier, uh, that person could be aware of your connection with this person, Virgo, and that your karmic person or your person could be like against you contacting or being with this person, having a connection with this person. Again, your story is your story, and I'm definitely interested to hear. Um, unless you've already clicked off this video and unsubscribed from my channel by now, in which case, sad to see you go. <laughs> but anyways, Virgos, I hope that um, at least some of this message resonated with some of you. And of course, I do hope to hear from you guys um, regarding the reading and uh, the sales and things that are going on this season. So uh, I love you guys. I hope you're doing very well, that you enjoy the rest of Sagittarius season, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.